Healthcare. Today I'm going to teach you how to write sentences using referred cells. That means that anytime a patient uh, is used or a different patient is used, the information will update to that patient. That's the same way that I uh, am able to pull forward uh, people's individual addresses as well as their information for their insurance or any of the answers on the uh, intake forms for past medical history and everything else. We reference other cells. And so in order to do that, you can see in the history of present illness, if I double click this, there's a large equation here. So it says equals database BY6 and, and then you'll see quotes. This is the general pattern that you're gonna use when you write out pre-made sentences or pre-made uh, equations to pull the information forward from other sheets. For me, I've connected my data center that houses all the information from the subjective consent to treat forms as well as the intake forms and I pull it forward to the database on this uh, template. So when we go to the database, we're gonna see all of the patient's information and that's how we can reference it. Now this is just a sample patient, it's not a real patient, it's using me as the patient. These are all made up information, but it's just for example purposes and to show you how to write something like this. So let's start from the beginning. We're gonna delete all of this and click equals and go over to the database. I always like to start off with the patient's name. So you can see here where it says Maxwell and BY6, and I'm gonna reference that by clicking it. Now, the general pattern is cell referenced, ampersand, quotes. So we're gonna do ampersand, which is shift seven, quotes, and say reports pain with colon parentheses, and since we're referencing another cell, we're gonna do ampersand, and we're gonna click on cell BY23. What body of the area are we, be, uh, we treating? Okay, I'm gonna do ampersand, quotes, and a period, because otherwise there would be no period after that. But you can see once we click enter, Maxwell reports pain with head and neck, period. That's the very basic terms and the very basic way that you would write this formula and write these equations. You can then, if you wanted to continue, get rid of that last quote and write your next thing. What I also want to go over is dates. Dates are handled weirdly when you do an equation like this. I think that it takes the information right in that area and says that, like if we did today's date, 117. 2023, it would take the 1 divided by the 17 divided by the 2023 and gives you a weird number. And I'll show you that right now. So we'll do end quotes, ampersand, database. We're going to click on the date, click enter. You can see this weird number comes up. If you want to fix that, you have to use the split function, which I've done here. So I put equals split, and I reference the cell that I'm going to uh, split by which delimiter and that's gonna be the backslash. So you can see here it takes it 1, 12, and 2023. Now we can reference these and we're trying to write a date. So if we come back to the eval sheet, we'll get rid of that BY 2024 at the end there. We're gonna say the patient reports the symptoms started on space, end quotes, we're going to do ampersand because now we're going to reference the cell back in the database. BZ24. We're going to do ampersand and we're going to add that um, backslash in again by doing quotes, backslash, quotes. Then we're going to need to do another ampersand, CA12, or CA24 to get 12 in there. And then we're going to need ampersand, quotes, backslash, quotes, ampersand. And then lastly, the 2023. We also want to add a period, so we're going to do ampersand, quotes, period, quotes. Press enter. If you don't add an ampersand, it's going to come up with error. So we'll delete that ampersand at the last bit, and you can see error, right? You have to add that ampersand in between each cell reference, or else it won't write properly. This is the basic way of writing these things. You can also make it more complicated by using if functions. So we're going to do that next. We're going to add ampersand and come back to the database. I'm going to type if, enter, and you can see a parenthesis has been added. Now we can say if something equals something, 
I want it to write out this, and if it doesn't equal that, I want it to write out this other thing. So we're going to come here to BY25, and we're going to see what caused your symptoms to start. So if this equals, quote, unknown, quote, you're going to write, quote, so you, when you put the comma, now you're doing, if the value is true, quote, the patient is unsure of what caused the symptoms to start, period, space, quotes. And then I'm going to do a comma. If that value is untrue, I want it to write this next sentence. So I'm going to add a quote. The patient reports the symptoms started from colon quotes ampersand and we're going to click on that by25 again and then i'm going to add ampersand quotes period space quotes and then a parentheses to end the if statement or the if function when i click enter you can see the patient is unsure of what caused the symptoms to start is now at the end if i go back to database and change this to soccer Right, and we go back to the eval sheet, you can see that it now writes, the patient reports the symptoms started from soccer. So that's how you can make it more complicated. Um, the nice thing is that with the unsubscribed healthcare shortcut feature, you can add this equation after you're satisfied and done writing it into the shortcuts. So if I come here to subjective shortcuts, and I go to history of present illness, I'm going to copy and paste that uh, equation that we just wrote in there, and then I'm going to submit this. Now that it's been submitted, we delete this, exit out of that side window. Now you can see that I have multiple different ones that are here. So we can see that this looks more like the one that we just did because it has that if statement here. So I'm going to click on that, and there you go. Now we have that, so if we come back to the database, and we click here and type in unknown, click enter, and now you can see unknown why the uh, symptoms started. So that's how you can reference it, that's how you can uh, refer to it, that's how you can make these um, quickly populate so that you don't have to spend a lot of time documenting them. I hope this was helpful. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing. Uh, it does help out my channel and also join the Facebook group to uh, have more direct access to me and have more direct conversations with the group. I hope you have a great day.